What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Troy coming back at you with another video. What's going on, y'all? I mean, the last time I, I mean, I say a minute, but it, I mean, it kind of is a lot. But um, the last time I played was the Bonner vlog, of course. I hope you guys really did enjoy it because I took a lot of time on it and it was a lot of planning and things that went into that trip so i really appreciate that a lot of people watched it so like 800 views right now which is which is pretty good so like honestly definitely it did better than miami one which is so weird because i feel like rolling loud is a bigger festival so i thought maybe more people would watch it but i guess there's more rolling loud vlogs probably so i guess that's where it comes from so there's more rolling loud vlogs i guess and then less bonder vlogs so i kind of had a hunch that it would probably do pretty good there isn't a lot of bonder vlogs out there um, especially the year I went so I just knew that if I uploaded it really quick that I would probably get a decent exposure for it because no one else was gonna do it and I didn't see anybody else there with cameras so I was really just like there posted up chilling recording all the clips and there was like not really much there's no competition out there Tennessee and guys no just kidding there was a there's just like no there's nobody else really filming like that at the festival at least that I really saw but um yeah I had a really good time at the festival I'm not here to talk about like the how the festival was but that was a really good experience i just had to touch on it because I had a little good I had some pretty good feedback and that was like of course the last video that i uploaded um this video doesn't really have too much of agenda to be honest i'm just kind of rambling i've been thinking a lot and then i haven't really been recording but it just kind of had a lot of thoughts in my head and i feel like it's almost like put the pen to the paper which is for me is the camera so it almost feels like so much happens in such a small amount of time because i would say even a couple years ago me and my friends talking about it or a snapchat memory pops up it completely blows my mind when i see certain people or when i see like like i see like a whole different like friend group like it throws me off so much because it's like it feels even though a couple it's only been a couple years it feels like so much has happened between that that moment or that time period and now that it almost feels like it didn't even happen it's so weird because you're so focused in on what's going on right now that things that happened at least for me like two three years ago it feels like an eternity or it feels like it almost didn't happen it felt like it wasn't even me almost like i look at old pictures and i'm like i almost feel like i i was almost in denial like that was even me like it, it's it's like i should have a mind fuck i don't know if it's just me or like people can relate to that but that's how i feel i look at like a really old clip or something I'm like what like no way that happened like what like it just it blows my mind like what like that's what everything was back like like back then like it just it blows me up and then too i feel like it kind of also puts things in perspective for your current time and how you're going to feel, of course, moving now forward. And it's very interesting because we get so caught up in like, the books are all I got to do tomorrow, what I got to do, what I got to do at work, blah, 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 blah. And you're like so streamlined into this little like section and you're focusing on this little tiny little thing that you never like really zoom out and look at the entire picture. And it, it does, and it has been like weighing on me more and more lately. And like looking back at certain things, it's like, bruh, like someone told me who was a year ago, be right here, or vice versa, another year, another year. Like, it just seems like so much changes in that so long amount of time. And I feel like it really does put emphasis on things I've said in the past, but like really put the emphasis on the current moment and like really taking in and grasping, even like I said Bonner before, really taking in that whole experience of what the festival was. I really, of course I vlogged it, but I felt like I was pretty connected in that moment, like going around to yoga with people. That was like one of the best things. I guess I haven't really talked about it, but there's like, there was a time like we went to yoga at like 9 a.m. and fucking meditated with total strangers. Of course, the yoga classes, of course, we were with total strangers during the time, but like it just felt so interesting that we were all in this community of people with similar mindsets, similar goals, with just having fun and relaxing and enjoying the vacation and the small time that we had to enjoy that, you know, that venue, that experience, that concerts. And for them, they had like little, little activities that were like outside of the festival, which were so cool. And like I said, it was like a 9, 9.30 yoga. And we sat there on these like wooden planks, had a little our yoga mats and just sat there. And this lady was like, the instructor was super nice. And it was just like such a good experience. And it just felt like a lot of people had similar minds. And it just felt like a time to pause. That's why I was like, yoga hits. Like I used to do it for a little bit at school with one of my best friends and that shit is really good and like I said yoga is it hits but completely completely irrelevant but I'm just saying like in terms of meditating and 
realizing you're in the current moment, it is something that is quite important. But um, yeah, just it's just so interesting just looking back on everything. It's just kind of what I've been doing lately and kind of seeing now moving forward what I need to do or what I want to do. And then like seeing how much goes on within these like year or two years, it makes me want to do more, take more risks, step more out of the box. Like I said, I feel like it's really easy to feel comfortable. It feels really easy to do the same things over and over and over again, because that's what you know. But in a year even, even though like, it doesn't really feel like, it, it seems like it's more time than it is. Like you realize like, wait, I could definitely like grind it out. Like, yeah, I definitely could do that. Like, it's not really that far out of the realm. And like, I don't know, I just feel like we also, on the flip side, I also feel like we have a lot more time that we give ourselves a credit to as well. So like, I've noticed too, in terms of my time management, how many times do you like get up in the morning, open your phone, scroll on Twitter for like 30 minutes, okay, then respond to a couple of text messages, okay, then you're like, oh fuck, okay, then you finally roll out of bed and then you take a shower, boom, you wasted what, like two hours and you didn't even do anything. Like, you literally did nothing. <laughs> like, you literally basically just woke up. You might as well have just stared at the wall for two hours and then just stood up. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's the same difference. So I just think, like, I mean, of course, not just showering I'm talking about, but you, like, being on your phone and um, just, it, of course, doing just nothing productive. Like, even you just mindlessly looking at TikTok for 45 minutes. It's like, damn, you ever, like, sat down and, like, done anything for 45 minutes that's like productive it's like brutal like imagine if i said like set a timer read this book for 45 minutes most people would just like crumble like oh fuck i have to read this book for 45 fucking minutes and it feels like you can absorb a lot of information for the damn book and like allocating that time of 45 minutes to the book feels like such a large gap but we just do that anyway and just consuming like bullshit on the internet and it just like it blows my mind like how much time like i realize i just waste this but i do feel like i do put pressure on myself in that it's so, like i'm always in a constant battle i'm not doing enough or i should be at this level right now if i'm not there already so like i constantly do that deal with that and i constantly battle that in my head or like in my thoughts it's like I fight myself, so like I'll wake up, say like I wake up, then I'm on Twitter. Then I'm on Twitter for like 30 minutes, and the whole time I'm on Twitter for 30 minutes, the back of my head's like, Troy need to get up, Troy need to get up, Troy need to get up, Troy need to read this, Troy need to look at this. Like in my head it's like pounding, telling me to like go get up and like go do something else and go like be productive essentially. And then sometimes you get in that state where I'm just like, I hear that voice and it's nagging me in my head, but for whatever reason, I just choose not to get up. And it's just like, it's all on me. Like, there's no really, like, there's no excuse for it. It's just like some of these things that are just like, I'm just like addicted. Like, bro, like, I don't think you stare at these things, you're fucking mindlessly, but then you realize like, holy shit, like what, how much more could I have really done today? And I, I was listening to this some podcast per usual, and I believe it was one of my productive ones because some, most of my podcasts, or bullshit, just like a lot of things on the internet. It's just pure entertainment, has literally no substance, no educational value. But I do have like two or three podcasts I listen to that actually have structure, actually have thoughts, maybe some gains, some education behind it, guests that have some financial background or whatever it is where it seems like, okay, I can listen to this for an hour and a half and not feel like a total fucking bot. And when it comes down to just being productive in general, I think like, so you give yourself way more credit, like you give yourself way less credit for the time that you have. Like say for instance, like good example, like say if you're in school, you're in school, you're about, it's about to be spring break, everybody's fucking hyped, everybody's antsy to get out. If the teacher, say you have a couple hours of your lecture and it's like, hey, finish these couple assignments I have on the board and you guys will be free to go on your spring break. You are fucking locked the fuck in. I don't care how much time you need or how much time is recommended. You are going to be locked the fuck in being productive as fuck because of that. What is going to yield the break essentially. So you're like, fuck, as soon as I finish this shit, I'm out. Okay, bet. And then you're like locked in. Imagine if you were like that motivated or that driven all the time. Like if you imagine being that level production, 
like now of course you can't no one can sustain that for like a super long period of time but even if like it was like an hour or an hour and a half a day you dedicated straight to like a time like that where i'm just like I'm locked in for a straight hour on something that was semi-productive think about how much further you would be just like in terms of your career in terms of your just knowledge or your spiritual health or your mental health you just took an hour to just lock into like something that was semi fucking productive instead of just being like uh, uh, uh. and then like i said i've got in an area like recently i'm like getting out of it now but like in terms of like i hold a lot of pressures of like hey you're not doing enough you're not doing enough you need to be doing this right now you need to be doing that right now and then instead of just yelling at myself internally i'm starting to actually like do the actions instead of just like bullying myself but because i swear like it feels like if i um if i do something that's like super unproductive for like an hour you're like say if I just, I say if I just burn an hour on YouTube, which is the easiest for me. I'm like I'm less and less on Twitter. I'm less and less on Instagram. I don't really use anything else. So most of my time, like if you look at my screen time on my phone, it's all YouTube. It's fucking YouTube. I was watching like a thousand podcasts. I watch a thousand gaming videos, a thousand talking videos. Like I watch so much content. Be fucking bullshit like just nonsense like i just like look at the videos recommended click and then i just feel like a zombie then i look up and like i wasted an hour or an hour and a half where i said fuck Troy, you need to go to the store Troy, you need to go grocery shopping you need to do whatever and then i think and then like i just feel like shit like i've been at this point where i'm like like i bullshit so much that it's like genuinely pissing me off <laughs> there's an like, internal image that i have of myself to be so much higher just in general so like i just have like benchmarks for myself so even if i'm doing well in certain aspects for me it always feels like eh, like non-satisfactory but like it's not like all oh, like you're not enough kind of thing it's not like a, a self-esteem thing it's not that it's just like achievement based <laughs> like i don't know why like for me i guess like i mean it's just like not something that's crazy rare or anything like that but for me like if I go on Instagram or something, it's not like I'm ever comparing my looks or like I'm funny looking or like, oh my God, that guy's built more than I am. It's never that for me. When I watch YouTube videos, when I look at Instagram or something like that, for me, what I look at, I look at someone that's my age, 23, 24, 25. And then if I see them being super successful, they like, have a lot of followers, they have a lot of this. And then I like look at them and I'm more comparing myself to like, damn, like not like, oh man, I envy them. Like I wish I was them. It's not that. It's like, damn, like, this is proof that you could be doing more, which is true, which is not a bad thing. But there's a balance of like, sometimes you're just like beating yourself up for in no inherent reason, or there's like a reason saying like, hey, look, Troy, like, look, man, if he can do this, I don't see why you can't do it either. Or why don't you at least try a little bit harder? Cause I'm just telling myself like, if I can spend an hour or fucking melting my fucking brain on YouTube, I can take 30 minutes of this and he at least record a video and it's been a different 30 minutes, not 30 minutes from capping. Um, but I spent another uh, amount of time to edit it. And then like, it doesn't really take that long. Before you know it, I have uploads. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, I don't expect myself to be able to daily upload and I'm fucking Casey Neistat going out there vlogging, posting, editing all on the same day. Like, no, I can't fucking do that. But in realistic terms, of course, being burnt out either. But there's definitely just a lot of things more I could be doing. And it just, I feel like it's just like a message to more hold yourself accountable. And instead of maybe getting into those slumps where you're like, maybe you're not even recognizing how much time you have, but really pay attention. Like next time you just burn an hour or something, like look around and be like, holy shit, like what if I just read a fucking book on meditation for an hour? How much better would I feel? Like, you know what I'm saying? Or how much better, like whatever the fuck it is. And then like, just kind of pay attention to how much time that you have allocated just you sitting there. And I'm not saying that you need to go start a fucking business or start a company in that time, but just pay attention more to like the time that you do have because you have a lot more of it than you think you do. And then you look back and you're like, damn, like that was a fucking brick of time that just passed. And you look back, like even I'm saying like two, three years ago, now I'm looking at my apartment I'm looking at my old friend group this that i'm like dude we should have been grinding i mean granted i'm 24 like duh but like i'm like damn bro, we could have been cooking now i'm behind it feels like so like like i'm doing okay but it's just like damn like but sometimes i'm like fuck like i, I would just hate and hate and hate like i said i don't like that word but 
like my worst fear would be like be on my fucking deathbed and being like, damn, Troy. I wish you would have grinded YouTube, man. I wish you would have started that podcast you always wanted, man. Like, or like, not like just like just whatever it is. Like, man, I wish you been. It would suck. Like, man, like, what happens if I would have made a podcast with the homies? I mean, I did that already, but like, like a real one. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just things like that. I'm like, I really want to do one way or another, and it's like, what if I did that? And I would hate to be at the point of like, say it's the end, and you're like, fuck, I, I could have done more. And then, like, that's, like, one of the worst feelings. This is the last thing I'll say. But in terms of that, if you're, like, an athlete or, like, any, maybe you're doing any kind of major event or competitive thing, that used to be the worst feeling in fucking track. I used to run track. But, like, the, <laughs> but it used to be the damn near the worst feeling. I would finish a 400. I would finish an 800. And I would walk, I would not walk. I would get past the line, whatever. I might be in third place, whatever. Third place. Then I look, I look up, and I, and I, I check the time, I check the splits. I feel myself. I'm like, maybe I'm gonna be an 800. But like, damn, I, like, I lost by like four or five seconds, like from first. Like, I, I feel like I gotta try it a little bit harder. Like, like I just in my head, like I'm mean, like maybe it's just placebo, but like, but sometimes I, in my heart, I feel like, damn, Troy, you could have ran a little harder. That kid could have been stronger. Like, did you even like try? Like, did you? I mean, you tried a little bit, but like. Did you really like put all the effort you had towards that before being like ah or whatever you know what I'm saying? So that's just kind of warm my mat because that's like that's the damn worst feeling in the world. Like say if you ever lose a race or something or lose anything in a competitive aspect and you're like damn like I probably should man if I just tried a little harder like I probably could have got it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really you make really yourself like man man if I ran them laps that coach would have told me man after practice. I, if I really put my heart into that practice that right before the meet, I probably would have won. If I took that extra stretch or whatever, that probably would have been enough to get me right over the top. Whatever the fuck it would be, just in your applicable aspect, but I don't know. So basically the moral of the story, if you're still damn watching this super elongated video, who knows how much I'll cut this, like I said, but really pay attention to the time that you do have. You have a lot more than you think you do. And then by the time you realize you have all this time, you're out of time. It's crazy. It's a crazy word out there, man. It's a cold word out there. But like I said, that's the main point. Another point, hold yourself accountable. But not like, but don't beat yourself up. But do hold yourself accountable and realize what you truly want to do. And don't get all the way to the end before realizing that you could have did more. That's kind of where I'm at, all right? Looking back, time flies. Like I say, I'm 24. Looking back in a couple years even is crazy for me. So like I said, if you're in the realm of, like I said, that 18 to 20, to 25 to 30, but that kind of range, like I'm even starting to see, like there's so many things that go on during this time period is so detrimental. And of course, this time period sets up your other time period. So you really do have to focus in and kind of pay attention to these things and how you can help yourself and set yourself up. Just not even mentally, but like just, just as a whole, because there's a lot that goes on and I'm starting to see it. I'm 24 now, fresh, fresh 24, but try my best really out here, but I just wanted to express my thoughts and get some out of my chest and put some pen on the paper. But I love you guys. Take care, like, and subscribe. Peace.